Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Deus Ex Invisible War Game Thoughts I'm doing this video before the others so I can really give my first impressions of just the endings. And yes, I got all four. And I will be spoiling the other ones, so... Yeah, if you only chose one ending and didn't see the other three... Yeah, that's... That's this video. In fact, I'm starting with the endings, just to be really contrarian or something. I started with the Templar ending, so I guess I'll start with that one. Man, that is ominous. In fact, as, as I discovered over, you know, getting all four endings, almost, they're basically all fairly ominous. I, I don't know, I... I guess I just got a more... I don't know, maybe naively hopeful sense from some of the endings, at least, of the first one. And I'm not going to detail what they are here. Although I will have to spoil them because, you know, the, the game kind of does so itself. Yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, I guess... I can't quite figure out with the Templar ending if that's supposed to, like... You know, if it's that you're getting to, you know, if if that ending is for people who do agree with the, you know, the Templar thing, and it's just supposed to say that, you know, not only will they, you know, go against biomods, but they'll just, you know, continue to just try to take out everything that they view as negative. And yeah, I, I can kind of see that, you know, they, they are just this vicious faith, you know, I, I was almost going to say cult, but I guess, I don't know, the, the, the term cult is kind of, I like the saying, cult is what the big religion calls the little religion, you know, they're, they're a religious faith, really, and yeah, they just, they hate that which is different, which is common to some religious faiths, not all. And, yeah, I, I can't quite figure out if, you know, it's supposed to, like, scare the people who chose that ending. I mean, I took it just to see what would happen, you know. I didn't agree with the Templar. I actually, I was really surprised that they let you work with the Templars at all. I mean, when I joined up, you know, to get the, the passcode, I guess the game actually requires you to do that so that they can... You know, because otherwise you can't do that one mission, which I think is, like, critical, you know, when... Uh, the Arcology, level 107, I think you have to sign up in order to get in there, because I think it's one of those that you can't hack. So you, you need to know the passcode for that thing. Anyway, I, I really didn't think... I mean, when it gave me pause to, to have Alex say that he's joining up. And then, you know, when... Saman actually said, you know, you already joined us. And one of the dialogue options was, I've been waiting for this, make me a Templar Knight. Well, not quite that, you know, pathetically, but whatever. Not, it's that, not that excitedly, anyway. But, yeah, you know, and I just said, went like, okay, is he gonna buy this? Sure, why not? Let's see where this takes me. And, yeah, I, I can't quite figure out if that ending is supposed to just shock you to your core if you did believe what the Templars believed, or if it's supposed to, like, really give you what you want, if you... Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't quite made up my mind about that one, honestly. Then there's the... I, I was quite surprised by the, 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 the Renegade one, which turns out to be in favor of the Omar. You know, because the moment that you destroy the machine, yes, destroy the machine after killing all the leaders, or, yeah, whatever whatever order you do it in, but anyway, once they're all, you know, and the Omar contacts you, you know, so I guess either Leo lied to you and was fully Omar, or the Omar tricked him and 
and work through him to get to you or something like that. By the way, the AI on Leo is horrible. I, you know, one of the times when I, it was when I told him to kill the Dentons. You know, one of the times I told him to clear the dock of the Illuminati, I think. That was when I killed everyone. And then in another, I kind of used his, you know, to kill the Dentons when I worked for the Illuminati. Yes, because I couldn't really use him to kill the Illuminati, obviously. So anyway, when I told him to kill the Dentons, he took forever to move. You know, he kept going back and forth. Anyway, not that important. Basically, you know, you, you have this cutscene of this, you know, desert and like the only one still alive are the Omar because they're really good at... I don't know, I, I suppose I can see it. Because they have that Borg thing going on, so without this kind of central control or central, you know, source of control for biomodding, I guess they kind of corner the market. I mean, they've got the black market down on, you know, biomods, and they can communicate back and forth, and no one could really, you know, compete with that. Because, again, there is no, there is no longer an alternative. There are no, there aren't two systems that can connect a bunch of people, you know, now there's only the Omar. And I can kind of see that. And, let's be honest, the Omar are, you know, one of the only, I mean, I don't know if you can really call them characters, but the, you know, you've seen them a bunch over the course of the game, you know, I mean, honestly, I forgot several of my fellow Tarsus alumni, you know, because they are in this game for so very little, you know, but the Omar, I kept remembering them, and it's also because, yeah, they're some of the only that have the interesting, you know, character design. <laughs> Which, obviously, but, yeah, you know, I, I can kind of see that, you know, that was, you know, it, it had an impact. But again, ominous, and I, I really didn't see it coming. I, I honestly thought that that one was going to be the no-world domination, kind of no-world changing. Like, like Leo says, the world is fine the way it is, but, yeah. Now, then there is the Illuminati. I saved the J.C. Denton one for last, because that was the one I was most interested in, you know. Illuminati. Global democracy, but with this, this hint, perhaps not so subtle, of basically a benevolent dictator. You know, you basically have these, you know, Ophelia is basically watching everyone and everything constantly. That's, that's how, you know, what I got out of it. Although, you know, I was... When the narrator went, Ophelia, what is it? Is it a who? Is it a system? I, you know, couldn't help but MST3K back. It's a bunch of screens, monitors, in one room showing the same green radar, like, circle. Yeah. But yeah, you know, that was a kind of... That, that one is interesting, you know, th to have this idea of, well, you know... That's one way to have democracy, have a benevolent dictator, basically have, you know, I don't know, I, it's up to, you know, viewer interpretation, basically, if Ophelia controls or if he just enacts and sort of, you know, watches and thus, like, decides what is best for the whole kind of thing. Anyway, finally, J.C. Denton ending. I quite, like, if th this was the least ominous to me, but it's still mega creepy. And I guess it's only the least ominous by, by contrast to the others. It, if it was the only ending, I would still have said it was ominous. You know, it's just that it, there's no benevolent dictator, I, I guess. I, I didn't really get the sense that Helios was controlling things outside of any kind of, you know, Input. It's basically a direct democracy, you know, a global direct democracy. But it does have the Borg thing going for it, you know, or against it, rather. You know, that, yeah, to, to, do people not lose... I mean, where is individuality in all this, you know? And and everyone standing there with the, the blue orb in front of the fridge. I love how, like, one woman is just, like, showing up a little late. And like, okay, I'm okay, standing there, and the blue orb appears, you know. Anyway... That was really the invasion of the body snatchers, you know, they, it, yeah, and, and the, oh yes, we've had peace for 125 years, and we'll have it for, 
you know, even longer. It, yeah, but yeah. I, anyway, I like the endings. I like that you are allowed this sort of. I mean, the game does. Uh, I suppose it doesn't force you to get biomodded, or at least it doesn't force you to use any biomods other than the main one, the one that you know comes pre-installed. But yeah, you kind of do. You know, you you get the choice to rid the world of biomodification. You know, that is. You know, kind of cool. I, I really didn't see them letting you work for the Templars. I honestly had not seen that coming. Now, this, I consider this a spoiler because you don't find out until a while into the game. But yes, every, all three endings from the first game happened. First, I just gotta say, how? I don't, I don't completely... Okay, so basically, the Helios merger must have been before, you know, taking out, I think it's Area 51, but I'm horrible with that. You know, anyway, the, the huge EMP that caused the collapse, as it's referred to in this game. Because otherwise, the EMP would have taken out Helios as well. And then, I guess... See, how would he then work with the Illuminati? Or I guess he didn't. Or maybe he started to, but then it didn't. No, I guess, well, actually, I guess just the... For sure the EMP happened, because the collapse, you know. Actually, that one you know happened from pretty much, you know, fairly early in the game. And the merger happened, because you see him, you know, combined with Helios. And I guess... I don't know if he ever did work with the Illuminati. I, I wasn't entirely clear on that, but yeah. So having both the Dentons in this and having it end with you going to a meticulously recreated UNATCO headquarters after many decades of or several decades, I don't remember the exact timeline, of decay, you know, just natural decay. This game is... I don't... I'm not sure if, if, if I should call it a tribute or, like, fan service, but basically, if you played the first game, you probably loved it. Or you're really not into this sort of game, I, I guess I'd have to say, really. And... They made this game for those same people, you know, and yeah, I, for one thing, I don't think that this is a very newcomer-friendly game. I think if you haven't played the first game, there's a bunch of things you're not going to really get in this one. And I don't just mean that you're not going to quite appreciate, for example, the level of detail in the Inatco headquarters. I really mean there's there's things that are just, you know, I mean, and for a while it doesn't seem like that. For a while it seems like it's just a continuation and not, or like, like it's taking place in the same world, but not necessarily a complete continuation, but really it turns out to just be, you have to have played the first one, otherwise you're really not going to understand this. Now... I'd also like to note a couple of the voices, it's the same actor. I didn't feel like any of the voices matched, honestly, on any of the recurring characters from the first one. Now, the... The basic... That might actually be it for the spoilers that I wanted to discuss. Yeah, I suppose so. So, well, one thing I want to... I, I suppose this counts as a spoiler, so I, I'm not putting it in the regular review, at least. I didn't really feel like this game gave you if, if you wanted to use computers, you basically had to use the hacking ability. 
in the first game, there are a bunch of times where you can find the computer login. In this, that happens I, maybe three times, you know, maybe four, but not very many, at least. So basically, if you want to use computers, if you want to, yeah, if, if you want to use security computers, you're going to have to know how to hack. You know, actually, I don't even know if you can access the Aquinas protocol there near the end without the hacking ability. I just felt that, yeah, kind of weak. Yeah, I suppose that does cover it. Almost forgot. The order and the WTO, both being fronts for the Illuminati. I can appreciate the cleverness of writing this because that definitely, it took me completely by surprise. And it is indeed a clever way of doing it. I mean, you can, you know, but basically one side is saying, you know, if you want to go with sort of I guess, globalization and a, a government, a system, join the WTO or you know, abide by their laws. If you want to focus on belief and a sort of, you know, ideology, the order is for you, you know, and there is this feigned conflict between the two. And even some of the highest ranking members do not realize that. And I do like that the her holiness turns out to be Nicolette Duclair. I thought that was clever. And then I guess that is a pretty, you know, at that point it is pretty obvious that, okay, well, you know, is Nicolette Duclair and Chad Dumier really going to be on opposing sides? You know, I mean, unless they changed drastically in the years between. So, and I guess it should have also been a hint that Chad Dumier, I actually, I thought that was completely, at first I thought it was bad writing, but now I realize it was just, it was a major hint, basically. And I, I, I guess I should have seen it coming. Anyway, what I do really want to say, in spite of all that, it is a major anticlimax. I mean... I realize they acknowledge it. I realize that they say themselves, you know, there's there's game dialogue that kind of points out this is an anticlimax, you know, this is not what I expected from these two. That doesn't keep it from being an anticlimax. I am glad that they after that point have sort of D different factions that you can, you know, after that, it's Apostle Core with Tracer Tong and J.C. Denton, Illuminati with, you know, Chad Dumien and Nicolette Duclair. As it turns out, when you have to kill them, you have to kill them both. And, uh, you know, actually also the Templars, because, you know, the, and, and that's also kind of what I... I suppose I'll discuss that in the review itself. No spoilers involved. I'll be comparing the two religious faiths in the regular review. Anyway, it does kind of feel, you know, it. the The main thing, the the real problem I see with it is that it does kind of make your choices up to that point, which is you know, a critical aspect of this game that you could choose which faction to work for, it renders that somewhat meaningless. I mean, I, I realized that, you know, at the end of the day, you can still choose who to follow, but it does seem, I, I don't know, I, and that's part of, the, I think part of that, you know, that, that problem comes from it being continuation of the first one, tries to be one up the first one. Yes, I. 
I'm not sure if I should spoil that or not. But anyway, in the first one, there is this major plot twist. And it takes you by surprise. And it makes you completely reevaluate everything you've heard up to that point in the game. And in this one, I think they were trying to do that same thing. But in the first one, it doesn't feel like what you've done before that point was meaningless. Yeah, I, that's, that's all I can really say without spoiling it, but it just, in the first one, it is a great aspect of the game, because it really makes you feel like there is no one that you can be sure, you know, who to trust. And in this one, it just, it feels kind of like, I, I can appreciate, they, they really were puppeteers, and you were their puppet. I, I can totally appreciate that, and it's not like bitterness over being tricked. I, I swear, the problem is that there wasn't like an alternative. If there had been like an alternative, if there had been a third faction early on that you could help, maybe if you could help the Templars early on, for example, so that it didn't diminish everything, because it's like three-fourths of the game that have been spent up to that point, and you thought you were making different choices. I just, I think that's too long to set up that you've just been a puppet. It's, it, you know, there, there is the kind of twist that just feels like, well, you know, now I don't even care about this story anymore, because it just, too much of it, I think they shot themselves in the foot there. I, th yeah. Now, yeah, I think that might be more or less everything, actually. I can appreciate that the Coffee Wars sort of subplot kind of set that up. You know, that you have this, although that reveal isn't terribly long before that. But again, that, you know, also kind of feel, actually that, yeah, that was a sort of third thing that you were doing, you know, regardless of anything that happened with the others. And, yeah, at the end of the day, it just, it was kind of almost all meaningless. And I just, I don't know, I... I do think it was okay that they kept sending you to the same place, that, you know, I, I can appreciate that it would have been a bit much to basically have different locations for the different, you know, factions to, you know, be sending you to. That would be a bit, yeah. And I do like that, you know, basically all revolved around the machine, you know, the, the uplink machine or whatever, the, the J.C. Denton's machine in the end, you know. And basically, one faction has you use it and the other three tells you to destroy it, you know. I kind of, kind of like that. Well, actually, maybe two of them told you, no, whatever. All of it revolved partly around that, you know. Now, the... one other thing I wanted to bring up, but but yeah, the Coffee Wars, maybe. I, I kind of like that you can also choose a side there, you know. I chose Kui Kui, because I gotta be honest, the, the Pequod seemed like snobs, and just... I mean, the first thing Pequod tells you is, burn that guy's place down. I don't like how much it... what's it called? You know, he... He's too good of, uh, what's it called, a rival, you know, so, yeah. And when you meet Queequeg's manager, he, he doesn't tell you to destroy anything, he just tells you, please allow me to, you know, challenge their monopoly. You know, give me a chance to expand my business. I think I have a good product here, you know. I also didn't quite, the th final... What's it called? Mission for the, you know, I, I told the Queequeg's manager in Cairo, 
you're both working for the same, you know, and he took it kind of well, and he says, maybe you could go into the safe, here's the combination, exonerate him of black market dealings. And I go in there, and I don't know, there's like one or two weapon things, there's a weapon mod at least, I guess that means that he was involved in black market. I, I mean, I went back to the Kui Kui guy. He said nothing. He didn't like say, "Oh, good that you exonerated him," or "Oh crap, you didn't exonerate him." Nothing. So anyway, also the the anti resonance. I don't know. I it actually did kind of fool me when when I finally saw her and she was basically this horrible person, just spoiled brat, you know. I had kind of fallen for her image, her, you know, the, the hollow, <laughs> the hollow version of her, no, the, the, you know, the holographic version of her that spoke to you and, you know, that was quite nice. You know, it, it worked, definitely. There was one more thing. Yeah, I, and no, actually, I suppose that does pretty well cover it for the spoiler section, but yeah, not as good as the first one, definitely. If there's anything I didn't cover here that you want my opinion on in this one, only this one, you know, I haven't played the third one yet, so no spoilers for that one. And I'd rather try not to debate the first one in this one. Uh, I suppose I didn't recall I didn't record a spoiler video for that one, so I suppose if you must debate spoilers for the first one, you can put it down there as well. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.